Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Roughly 145 in Honolulu, 745 in New York on Tuesday, 17th day of October 2023. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Traders, I know it has been a couple of days since I have put out a live report. I hope you enjoyed the silver interview we did yesterday with Wall Street Silver. But the first thing that I do want to cover is our last trade. We did enter the trade back at $1,858.30. That was this candle right in here we bought on the open. And we raised our stop on Friday to 1925 That was hit. We took a profit. On Monday, October the 9th, before the open of New York, we did buy gold as I said, at $1,858.30, we bought on the open. We originally placed a stop at $1,839. We then raised that to $1,858.30. And then on Friday, we made our final adjustment to 1925. Sunday, we were knocked out. Profits on that single trade were $6,667 and 70 cents per COMEX contract. We also recommended for extremely aggressive traders that they should add a half a contract, the gold mini, which is 50 ounces. Traders that would have added would have given back $800 to the $6,600 profit. All things being equal, I believe the best strategy is to look to reposition ourselves from the long side as long as the conflict in Israel against Hamas continues and we get an indication that the Federal Reserve will begin to loosen their restrictive monetary stance and by that I mean to not implement any more rate hikes this year. That being said, I have added two studies to our daily gold chart. The first one is a Fibonacci retracement from $1,822, the beginning of the rally up to the conclusion at 1946. The 23.6% Fib retracement comes in at $1,917.10. The second thing is our simple 50-day moving average. Because as long as we have pricing above the 50-day moving average, it tells us that on a short-term basis, gold is still in a defined bullish trend. I also want to view gold price action over time with two distinctions. One, I have converted our standard candlestick chart into a Japanese average or Hankinashi chart. I've also added the MACD, moving average convergence divergence. Both look extremely bullish. And the one thing I can say when I look at the Hankinashi chart is although we have all candles with no lower wicks, we are getting a contraction of body size, which means that we could see a slight dip which would benefit us in giving us an optimal entry price. We are currently trading overseas in Australia. Our fixed price is 1937.60. This line represents 1924 to 25 dollars. Our exit price. I would be fortunate if we were able to see this price reoccur. However, if it did, my concern would be that there was a major shift in market sentiment. That being said, I believe if we could get our next position at 1933 to 1930 or better, that would be an optimal place to enter our next long position. Traders, we know that the dollar, its strength or weakness has a lot to do with the future direction of gold. When we look at our daily chart, we can see not only has it begun to sell off as it did here, it did then strengthen and now is in its second day of decline. Traders, we are looking at a two hour candlestick chart of the continuous contract representing December gold. My sense is 
that a entry price of 1932 to 33 would be highly acceptable. However, a breakout would necessitate us buying at the market. As I analyze the data over the next 24 hours, we will send out a trade alert with our strategy and best suggestion for our next trade. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.